So 100 years, when people say, you know, when they use 100% uh, agricultural waste uh, free, tree free paper, so they should know that it started right here. West Lynn Paper Company faced the same fate as many other mills in Oregon. It shuttered its doors in 2017. But today, the company is back up and running, now called Willamette Falls Paper Company. It's because of the new innovative and sustainable way it's making paper. So Morgan Romero joining us today. You got a tour of the mill yesterday. You're here to tell us a little bit about what they're doing differently. Yeah, it is different. It's innovative, as you said. It's sustainable. So when we were there yesterday, they gave us this bag. And what they're doing, this is an example of one of the products they're making with straw pulp. So you can see it says here, 30% made from straw pulp, one of the new product lines. They also make these notepads in some paper material. They call it commercial paper products. You know, it's their brand Reharvest, and they have been making these ones for a few months, but you know, they are the only ones in North America right now that are making paper products made of straw pulp to this scale. On the banks of the Willamette River sits this 130 year old paper mill. The factory, once sewn into the state's fabric, shuttered in 2017, costing 250 workers their jobs. But in July, after a multi-million dollar investment, the paper mill reopened as Willamette Falls Paper Company. We want to create a future uh, for in, at least another 130 uh, years based on innovation. That innovation looks like this. What we're doing is a combination of straw and wood fiber that gives us the, the product properties that we need. Half of this paper is made with fibers from wheat straw from a few hundred miles away. The agricultural waste would otherwise be taken off the field and either thrown out or burned, polluting the air. Going after the agricultural waste, we, we believe that we are preventing air pollution. This more sustainable method takes pressure off our forests. Paper doesn't have to necessarily come from trees. Willamette Falls hired 120 people. Of the first 100, 95 had worked there before it closed down. They actually advocated to reopen it and continue working here. The mill is in State Representative Rachel Prusak's district. It's really exciting that I had um, people who had worked here their entire lives meet me in Salem wanting to save it um, and that they were actually able to make that happen is unbelievable and amazing to bring 120 jobs back to the community, including people that used to work here, get their jobs back. With commercial production ramping up. So we're targeting all the bags. The company is making bags, bagel sleeves, wine bottle wrapping. The ultimate goal is to make paper from 100% straw pulp. Very unique. We don't know any other uh, company in the United States is um, making this. Morgan Romero, KGW News.